Alright, what is going on, you guys? If you guys can hear everything, see everything, just let me know. Make sure you guys are good. Y'all can hear me. I can see Yoda right there in front of you. Sweet. Alright, thank you, Charles. I'm glad you could you in there for me. So let me go ahead. You guys just gotta work with me for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and get everybody tagged here. Henderson getting it on here again. Sutherland got you in here. Shane, ain't seen you in here in a minute. Nicholas Morgan. Oh well. Sorry, just fat fingered it and pressed uh, name or press enter twice. So, oh. all right, and Marco. All right, now I've got everybody in here. I'm going to switch you guys over to the randomizer. Bam, got you guys right here. So let's go ahead and get this uh, this roll going. 11 times, just like yesterday. And yesterday was a pretty fire breakaway, so best of luck to everybody. I wanna pull you guys all the fire. All right, getting the last couple rounds right here. Final round, bam. Too much. All right, there we go. Bam. All right. Let's go ahead and get these uh, boxes cracked open real quick. And then we're gonna mix them all up and we're going to separate them right after. Alrighty. Y'all know what day it is, right? It's the middle of the week. Y'all know what day it is. Mike, 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 Mike. Get these two open. All right, get them out of there. There we go. The packs are more excited than we are. Today be the day we find a very spicy oil shifted card. Well, we pulled a foil thought sees. <laughs> no idea what day it is. Just ask Mike. Mike knows. Oh, no. Mike, 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 Mike. Missed that commercial. I'm just grabbing chunks of the pile. Just getting them separated. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, 
six over to spot four, six over to spot five, two, three, four, spot six. Spot seven. I know all these packs are like in our way. Three, six, spot eight, two, three, four, five, six, spot nine. Then we get on to our last couple of stacks, last few stacks here. All right. Last two spots, three packs a piece. All right, we got a lot of people in here today. I appreciate you guys. I wish you guys the best of luck, not only in today's break, but also in the paid, the March paid breaker giveaway that we will be doing tomorrow for you guys. All right, so we got stack one at Marco Sala. All right, Marco, let's get it, dude. Come on. Magic be good for us today. We got to get through the rest of this week still. All righty. Let's see how close I can get this. Bam. Skip it through your comments. If you are new in this break watching, um, since the set has been out. Yes, correct. Uh, since the set has been out for a while, I do skip through the comments unless you specifically ask me to just go through the comments, in which I will. But other than that, I just go to uncommons and rares and move on. Uncommons, rares, shifted card, move on. Y'all know what I mean. All right, let's start. Might of Old Crosa, Rift Wing Cloudscape, Rift Mark Knight, and the first rare of the day is a Coalition Relic, you guys. Coalition Relic. Followed by Vanquisher's Banner. Two artifacts in the same pack right there. Rare and shifted. Then we got a Sap Token flying through this little log tunnel. Well, running. Uh, as long as you are a new member or you have been in any of the uh, breaks that we do. So it's people that bought in breaks and new members. All right. And I believe also uh, getting other personnel involved too with the uh with the guild page let's see if you have any if you have been in any paid breaks with us at all this calendar year then you will get one automatic entry but you must comment paid breaker if you're not a paid breaker and you claim to be one you'll be removed from the group it's only for the paid breakers um Let's see. If you, if you are new as of March 1st, you get one automatic entry, bus, but you must comment new member. And if you are not new, do not comment new member because we will check and block everybody. So, yeah, not everybody. The people that claim to be that. Y'all know what I'm saying. Got Stronghold Rats, Assault Gargoyle, Mycologist, and... Second Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth. There we go. And a paradoxical outcome. We got one of these foil yesterday. A foil chromatic star, which actually looks pretty sick. Like look at that beam of light. Beam. With a cobalt token. The brakes are posted on the days that we um that we're working that the breakers are, are working 
and CJ and I, we both have Thursday and Sundays off. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturdays, we post the breaks between 11 and 12 um, in the morning mountain time. And you just have to get on there. You'll, you'll see, it's like, uh, like for this one, if you scroll down on the page, you'll see the spots, like you'll see the title of this. You see how much it is, the spots, all that. And then at the bottom, you press read more. At the bottom of that, there's a link that will take you to where you just click how many spots you want um, and how much it is. Or how you pay for it, too. Utopia Micon, Storm Entity, Salt Blast, and a Swarm Yard. There we go. Cool, neat little land. And a Palace Jailer. I think this, these two were in the same pack yesterday. Then we got a Foil Nantuko Shaman and Llanowar Elf's Token. All right, moving on. Marco, pack number four. Anytime, Tyler. If you have any other like questions, um, just feel free to send me a message on Facebook, and I'll be happy to answer your questions for you. If you're wanting more information, I got you, man. All right, pack four for Marco. He's got a big game hunter, Haze of Rage, and an Imperial Sword in the Uncommon Spot, followed by a Teleria West. That's also a good land to have. And a Consuming Aberration right behind it. Your little horror. I don't know if I... That thing's huge. I don't know if y'all noticed, but that little thing right there, that's a dude. <laughs> that thing is huge. I'd probably just have a heart attack with a Griffin token. All right, pack number five. All righty, passing through your commons. You've got a full tie sliver, a rough and tumble, an Urza's factory, and a Sarah Avenger. Gotta love the angels. I love the angels. There's a couple of you guys in here I don't recognize. Um, so, welcome. Thank you for breaking with me. Actually, you know what? I recognize almost all of those. Yep, except for Charles, I don't even want to mess your name up. It's not Schofield, it's the other Charles in the break. Welcome. Thank you for buying in today with a giant token. Marco, last pack for you today. Last pack for you today. Skipping through your commons, you've got a Dark Heart Sliver, a Phantom Worm, Primal Force Mage, and a Glittering Wish. Glittering Wish. For everybody that is wondering about, um, like, being notified whenever we post our breaks. We got Knight of the Reliquary also for our shifted card, just sucking you guys. And then we got a foil spinneret sliver with a spider token to end that stack. No mythic there, but you still got a really good land in there, Marco. A tomb with Yogmoth. It's a good land. Sarah Avenger's so awesome. Teleri West is good. Swarm Yard's good. Urborg. Yeah. That was a good stack. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, um, if you want to be notified, honestly, it's, I can't really tag any, everybody that wants to be tagged. It's just, it's a lot. Um, you can go on Facebook and you can actually set up your notifications, um, to notify you whenever something's posted in the Iron Lion, or you could just go to, you could, um, 
yeah, you just go to you can go to the Iron Lion page and just straight follow. But everything is posted in around the same area. All right, stack number two. I didn't even. I got lost in talking for a second, you guys. <laughs> I try to make sure I give you guys the correct information. Stack two, going out to Charles. Charles is already watching. All right, now we on stack two. Charles knew it was him. That's what, that's what happened. <laughs> All right. Skip through these commons. We've got a delay, an arc blade, a rift mark nine. Your first rated a Charles is a tomb stalker. Your delving demon, followed by your secret plans. Keep your secrets. And an assembly worker token. Moving on. How's everybody's week going so far? How's everybody's day? Alrighty. We got a Trump the Domains. Minions Murmurs. Time Bender. And a Kirkheap. There's a legendary land. Followed by a Reman. That's a good card. Good counter spell right there. With a little bit of draw ability. And a sap token. Alright, pack number three, Charles. Skip in your commons. We've got a Cryptic Annelid, a Cordurg, a Riptide Pilferer, and an Extirpate. Nice. Heck yeah, dude. We appreciate the support, Cody. And a hollow one right behind it. Other side. With an insect token. All right, pack number four. Oh yeah, for sure, dude. Like, I feel you on that, Nick. <laughs> I feel you. Also, if you guys did not see, box prices did go up some more. Pack prices also went up some more. So, just a heads up, you guys. Got a Minions Murmurs, a Utopia Micon, Knight of the Holy Nimbus, and a Vesuvian Shapeshifter. Followed by an Elvish Mystic. Oh, I thought there was a... It felt like there was another card between the shifted and the token. The spider token. Heck yeah, man. Alright. Skipping through your commons. You've got a an Avon Mind Sensor. Good card. Firemall Kavu and a Mystical Teachings followed by a Sedge Sliver. All Sliver creatures have this creature gets plus one plus one as long as you control a swamp and all slivers have pay a swamp and regenerate this permanent. A Bajuka Bog. There we go. That's a good land. Oh, yo. What? Nice. Foil Tomb of Yogmoth, Charles. Good pull, dude. Good pull. I know you don't like foils, like, at all, but that's a pretty sweet foil right there. Good pull. And an Assembly Worker token. All right, Charles, last pack of your first stack today. It's a really good pull. Alrighty. 
the commons out the way. Well, there you go. You got the, you got the foil tomb. So good pull. Got a Griffin guide, a Gaia's anthem, a Dune Rider outlaw, and a sudden spoiling. Sudden spoiling, followed by an Arcades the strategist shifted. And an insect token to top it off. There we go. Charles, I wish I could pull the same stuff I pull for you, but for myself when I open boxes. I open my when I open boxes for myself, it's crap. <laughs> I have terrible luck. The best the honestly, the best box I ever opened. Oh, what personally the best box I ever opened was a Masters 25 box. Um, I got it before the box price went up and opened both foil and non-foil Jace the Mind Sculptor. So that was pretty sweet. That was probably one of my, if not my favorite box to open. All right, stack three out to Ben Mark. Last time Ben was in here or the first time Ben Ben broke with me Ben pulled the first sliver the first sliver I got I believe and Ben was Ben decided to hop in one of my breaks got in and got the sliver and I was like there you go the sliver legion that's what it was all right Ben skipping through your commons bud we got a stormfront riders paradise plume and a spell burst. Your first rare of the day is an Ith High Arcanist. What's funny is yesterday I actually completely forgot about this guy until he opened it. And then I was kind of confused. I was like, wait, really? But I just forgot about the card. Got a Trinket Mage right behind it. Alright, then we got a Kobold Token. Moving on. Moving on. All right, you guys. I have a question for all of you. Just because I know some of you are uh, cross breakers, uh, that's a good thing. It's cool. You get you do Pokemon and uh, Magic breaks. If your name, if your name is the first name that pops up on the giveaway as a winner, what's your first choice? And if you if that's not available and it's sec your second, what's your backup? Just what what would be your first two choices of the breaker giveaway? That's what I want to know. All right, skipping the comments. There we go. We've got a Dusk Rider Peregrine, a Might Sliver, Street Wraith, and a Lotus Bloom. I I absolutely love this card. Honestly, like. It looks so good. Mm. And a SRAM Senior Edificer. Not Artificer. Edificer. A Foil Summoner's Pack. Back to back foils. Right there. Well, not pack back to back, but back to back stacks with foils right there. That's a pretty Summoner's Pack, you guys. That is a good looking stack. Or foil. And a metallic sliver. Liliana and set booster. ETB or Chamander or Charmander line. Chamander. The box of called hide and then Team Rocket. That makes sense. I mean, you can't go wrong, honestly, you guys. That hidden face ETB. Those are sick. They're extremely hard to find right now. Our last shipment was like three months ago, and that came from that. <laughs> Skipping through your commons on pack three. Pack three for you, Ben. You got a sudden shock, a skittering monstrosity, and a firewake sliver, followed by Krovax Ascendant Hero. I think this is our actual first mythic of the, of the day, right? 
with a blood brain elf right behind it. There we go. A little bit of spice. And a night token. If it were me, honestly, I would my first choice would be um uh, what you call it? My first choice would be the Charmander Evolution line from Team Rocket because they are all clean. I know because I, I helped package them up for the for the pictures and everything. And then I would go Hidden Fates ETB right behind it. Just because, yeah, the bird promo, Cody, exactly. CJ, she's she's the one that does the, um, the Pokemon breaks. She actually has like five or six of them just in her little flex binder. All right, pack four. Pack four for you, Ben. We got a Core Derg, Shiv and Meteor, Mystical Teachings, and a Greater Gargadon. All right, that card's out the way. Come on. An evolutionary leap. Alrighty. And then a bat token right behind it. Every time I see the bat token, I just think of how I think of COVID. What up, John? Alright, John, you missed out on the question. And it's not like for a prize or anything. John, if your name gets pulled up in the first four people in tomorrow's giveaway uh, raffle for the paid breaker giveaway, what is your first and second choice? Got a common right here. Oh, okay. I got you, John. No worries, man. No worries. Got a Meyer Boa, a Pultai Sliver, and a Harmonic Sliver followed by a life and limb. All forests and all saplings are 1-1 one, one green sap creatures in forest lands in addition to other types. Cool, so they just combine. That's pretty cool. Four drop enchantment. I mean, I guess if you go sap tribal or something, I don't know. All forests and all saplings, yeah. Young Pyromancer, love this card. Another foil rare. Foil Thelon, Thelon of Havenwood. Nice. And an assembly worker token. All right. Last pack for you, Ben. Last pack. All right. Skipping through the commons. All right. All right, right here. Yes, yeah, Slimefoot is the commander. You know what I mean, Cody. I thought Slimefoot was the coolest thing. Got a rough and tumble, a cryptic analid, and a faceless devourer. Really? There we go. There we go. Two mythics in this stack. Good freaking job. Congrats. And a Ramanap Ruins. Really good stack. And then a foil white mane lion and an ape token. All right, good stack right here. I'm just gonna put your mythics up here at the front. Yo, it's not even three stacks in a row. Your stack had two of them. Nice, good stack. All right. We're going on to stack four. You're good, Colin. You're good, dude. If you you can actually just re-click on it and it changes the emoji that you use. That's on you. I don't, you're good, man. All right. So we are on stack four. Um, the site we still don't have a time of when it's going live, but we just know it's going to be soon. So I don't want to give you guys a date and just not be a not be a correct date. There we go. I feel like I was fumbling over my words. Nick, actually, I, I did actually have a question for you real quick. Um, I know you do come in the store. Um, do you still, are you still wanting us mailing um, the pools from the, your break stuff to you? Or 
You want us to just hold it in store. I meant to ask you last time you were in the store, but I know we were all kind of busy. <laughs> all right, Charles, here we go. All right, skipping through your comments. You got a pull tie sliver, a land of war mentor, a smallpox, and a Muraganda petroglyphs. Like I said, showing a little bit of a, what is it? No ability creature love right there. And then Teamer Ascendancy. That's actually a good like little duo in the same pack. Just helping those creatures out that don't really do anything but just chump block. Alright, next pack. Pack number two. Yeah, so I mean, I know you... I, I, the reason I asked was just because I only I see you in here very frequently, and I know you you live down in Pueblo, so I know I understand if it's just easier that it just gets mailed to you. But what's up, dude? What's up, dude? I'm so sorry, your buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was Steven. He was saying hi and good luck. <laughs> Salt crusted step, might of old Crosa, and a return to dust, followed by a singer Nosferatu. Why'd they have to use that name though? <laughs> Nosferatu with a path to exile right behind it. I love this path to exile so much. It's just, I don't know. I like it a lot. And a sap token. All right, pack three, Charles. Yeah, so Nick, if you wanted to, I could just make sure we just leave them all, leave it here and it says local on it so like our guys that ship it don't grab it. Um, or we can just continue shipping it to you. That's really a, a you choice. <laughs> Alrighty. We got the commons out the way. Pack three for Charles on his second stack. Got a necrotic sliver. Stronghold rats. Salt blast. And a Thelon of Havenwood, which we got in a foil earlier. A ponder! Charles, good freaking pull, dude. Got to love it. Gotta love it. If only it were the foil, but nice. Nice. We got a sap token. Alright. Pack four. Sounds good, Nick. I got you, man. And I can definitely understand. I can understand why, too. I got you, man. Pueblo between... From the... Iron Line to Pueblo, ain't it? It's not a little 10, 15 minute drive. If it is, it's, you probably are flying down the highway. Almost literally. Got it in Slave. Char Rumbler. A Calciderm. And another extra page, you guys. Charles, this is probably what, like number 12 for you? Finishing off play set three. We got a Rakdos Charm. Can't go wrong with the charms. And a cloud sprite token. Alright, pack number five. Uh, number eight. <laughs> mm. Alright, skip, skip it through your comments. You got a Utopia Micon, a Stormfront Riders. A storm entity and a draw new lich lord. There you go. That ponder that's draw new. You like playing black. Some black blue brawl chief of compliance. Also a really good card. I've, I've somewhat learned you, Charles. You love to build nasty, janky stuff. Which I love, Nasty Jink. Like, I think my favorite part about playing on Arena and building new decks is whenever I correct, like, the decks I'm working on and I tune them in and they work beautifully. It's funny because CJ will ask me, she'll be like, why are you laughing so hard? You're playing Arena. I'll be like, because this deck is just stupid. Like, 
there are some things that you can do with decks, even a standard that's just like, this shouldn't even be possible. This is kind of funny. Got a Lightning Axe, Fungal Reaches, Clockwork Hydra, and a Flagstones of Trocare. The land color that you don't play with. <laughs> and an Anger of the Gods looking so good. You get in it get into playing some pioneer there you go a foil vesuvian shapeshifter charles you're on a roll with some foils today for sure and an insect token so good stack right there that was a really good stack charles like really good <laughs> oh yeah Pond yep can't forget that ponder the path Team of Ascendancy is so good. Mm. That was a good looking stack. Alright, stack five. Column. Got you, column. I got you, man. Alright. Moving on to pack one column. get these commons out the way because we all know what we want to see we really want to see that shifted card right got a thick skinned goblin a muck drub a dune rider outlaw and a pact of negation in the first pack this stack's already looking good with a gray merchant right behind it i feel like we haven't pulled him in a minute but i'm pretty sure we pull one every break with a night token. Great Merchant is still a really good card. I love that card. Like mono black zombies. It's wild. Alright, come on, come on. Pack number two. That was a that was a pretty good first pack on. Pack number two. Skipping through your commons. You got a premature burial. A Brine Elemental, a Char Rumbler, and a Kvert the Merciless. Like I said, oh, sorry about that. The camera, every once in a while, it, it's got to adjust and it's got all these different colors, so it, it focuses after a second. Kvert's super fun though. Got a Sigil of the Empty Throne. And a Cloud Sprite token to finish off the pack. Good call. I'm glad I was able to pull that pack for you, dude. Don't mind the slamming doors. That's uh, uh, our back room door is pretty heavy, so it just kind of slams when you're closing it. Saltfield Recluse, Cottery Sliver, Arc Blade, and a Stuffy Doll. All right. Followed by a Sanguine Bond. Love that card. Love this card with a Soldier Token right behind it. All right, column pack number four. commons you've got a celestial crusader a sudden shock a crossan grip and another caverk the merciless <laughs> hey if you play commander there you go Gurmag angler right behind it that's another good one that's a fun one to play with right there and a gobbo got a gobbo All right, pack number five, Colin. Oh yeah, that's the second caver to be uh, in the trade folder right there. All right. 
I don't know what's wrong with this dude, but that looks painful. <laughs> Every time I see that car, I'm like, that must suck. We've got a Sulphur Elemental, a Nightshade Assassin, a Street Wraith, and a Cloud Key. Cloud Key. Followed by a Trigon Predator. You're a 3 drop 2 3 beast. It really just kind of looks like a dinosaur and a dragon together. What is up? We're getting a lot of foil rares today, you guys. Foil rare Greater Gargadon. With a Kobold token. I'm loving the foils, you guys. Loving the foils. However, we have not hit our first foil shifted card yet. But we're seeing a lot of foil rares so far. I think there's five of them so far. Alright, last pack before you call them. Last pack, bro. Come on. We got a Cottery Sliver, Pendle Haven Elder, a Bonded Fetch, and a Rada Erda Keld. Followed by a Panharmonicon. Good pull on that. Good pull on that. With a Night Token. Alright, you guys. Wow. Pretty good stack right here. Pretty good stack. There you go. That, I'm pretty sure that was probably your highlight because you've been needing that pack. You seem pretty excited, so I'm glad I was pull, able to pull it for you. Congrats. All right, we are on stack uh, six. Stack six, over to John. John, I know you're working, but best of luck. Only hit what two, maybe three mythics. All right, there we go. Skipping through your commons, we got a Pultai Sliver, a Harmonize, a Riptide Pilfer, and a Safi Eric's daughter. I don't think we pulled this yet. Kiki Jiki, we have not seen. No, nah, Marco, we have not hit. Um, we have not hit a foil shifted yet. No, no shifted foils yet. We got, we've already gotten like five other foils though. I think the best foil we got was uh, Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth. I think that was probably the best foil so far. Did hit Ponder, another Tomb of Yawgmoth, Pact of Negation. It's been some pretty good pulls so far. Outside of the fact that we haven't pulled a foil shifted card. But we got a Kiki Jiki right here. Everyone loves creating copy tokens. And an insect token. That's the first pack right there. Alright. Get the commons out the way. Yeah, I, I sure hope so, Marco. Fingers crossed for real. I'm going to knock on wood. Just so we didn't jinx that. <laughs> Just in case. We got a big game hunter. A Meyer Boa. A Yavi Maya Dryad. Followed by a Life and Limb, number two of the day. An epic experiment. I love the I just love how the art fits the card. It just regardless if this is all like blues and reds and purples, and this is like green, yellows, and browns. It's still like, it looks good. Y'all know what I mean. But that's pretty much for every shifted card now. Got a metallic sliver token. All right. Pack three for you, John. All right. Bam. Got the commons out the way. 
We've got a Haze of Rage, Meyer Boa, Firework Sliver, and an Ith High Arcanist. Followed by a Stonehorn Dignitary. What do you mean you want, you want to go to combat? Psych. And Land of War Elves. Token. Well, let me grab some sleeves. I had a thick stack. I thought it was good. I actually thought I grabbed too much earlier. I didn't grab enough. Alrighty, pack number four for you, John. Pack number four. Alright. Skipping through your commons. You've got a Cloud Seeder, a Spore Sour with the lead, a Street Wraith, and a Pulmonic Sliver. I, know, I felt like that was going to be a really good one. I don't know why. It just came out of nowhere. And a cranial plating right behind it. That looks like one of those aliens from the Avengers movies. There we go. And an ape token. Alright. Pack five. Pack five. Come on. Come on. Yeah, we haven't pulled our foil shifted card, and we've only pulled like two or three mythics, so we're almost halfway through. So, come on. Got a Gaia's Anthem, a Calciderm, Primal Force Mage, and got a Boom and Bust. Boom and Bust for the rare. We don't really pull much of these. Then we got a Cloud Shredder Sliver. Cloud Shredder Sliver was the first foil shifted card we actually pulled. Not today, but overall. Then we got a foil Dead and Gone right behind it with a Sap token. All right, John, last pack for you. Last pack. Get all of these commons out the way. You've got a Rough and Tumble, Return to Dust, Dune Rider Outlaw, and a Pact of the Titan. Okay, we've only seen three packs today. We haven't seen the black one. We've seen red, green, and blue. And then a Teamer Battle Rage right behind it. Target creature gains double strike until end of turn. Double strike's so good. Double strike and trample. Foil prismatic lens. And a cobalt token. Alright. That closes off your stack right there, John. However, still a really good stack. Kiki Jiki. Moving on, we're going to go over here to stack seven. Sam, S-E-M, Sam. Stack seven. All right, Nick. Let's see what we can pull for you, man. Hey, I, I'm hoping. I'm hoping we can get you a, a shifted foil. <laughs> Hey, fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. Let's get started. Nick, you want me to go through your comments still or not? Sounds good, man. Skipping your commons. You've got a Muck Drub, Utopia Micon, Knight of the Holy Nimbus, 
Your first rare is an Acroma's Memorial. Followed by a Past in Flames right there behind it. Another Mythic. So Mythic in the first stack. Or first pack of the stack. Nice. And we got a Spider Token. Alright. Nice. Good, good freaking pack. Alright. We got a Shivan Meteor. Big Game Hunter. Rebuff the Wicked. And a Venser Shaper Savant. Followed by a Contagion Clasp. There we go. A Foil Extirpate. I mean, it's a pretty cool looking foil. I like that. I like it a lot, but I like foils, so... Yeah. Y'all have heard me say it before, I, there's no such thing as a bad foil. All foils are beautiful. Okay, unless it's a damaged card, then it's just sad. It's not even bad, it's just sad. <laughs> That's facts. Straight facts. Get the coffins out of your way. You've got a Rift Wing Cloudscape, a Thick Skinned Goblin, Mystical Teachings, and a Draw New Lich Lord, number two of the day. Followed by a Relentless Rats. And a Foil Cloud Cedar. All right, these foils, they're messing with my emotions. I see a little bit of shiny and I'm like, ooh. Aw. Come on, foil shifted. Foil shifted, let's get it. Alrighty, skip through your comments. You've got a Meyer Boa, Riftwing Cloudscape, Molten Slag Heap, and a Miri the Cursed, one of my favorites. I say it all the time, every time I see it, one of my favorites. A Flicker Wisp. There we go. It's a good pull right there. This little penny. A Foil Pit Keeper. And a Goblin Token. Alright, pack number five for you, Nick. Pack number five. Uh, Brenton, what's up, man? We have pulled... Uh, foil and non-foil Tomb of Yawgmoths. Um, we, fold, we pulled a, a Ponder, a Pact of Negation, um, the Green Pact, I forget what it's called. Um, we pulled that foil, Kiki Jiki. Um, just got an Acromas Memorial in here. It's been a pretty decent break. Pretty, pretty good. Alright, skipping through your commons, Nick, on pack five. You've got a Shivan Meteor. A Harmonize, Molten Slag Heap, and a Draining Welk. I also forgot about this card. I, I don't know how because I think it looks super cool. Followed by a Slime Foot. We was just talking about this earlier. Slime Foot the Stowaway. With a Foil Strangling Set. We're getting foils. We just haven't hit a foil etch card yet. Summoner's Pack, there you go. Got a, we got a foil strangling set in the Cloud Sprite. We're getting a, a bunch of rare, like the rare foils and non-rare foils, but we're not getting any foil, um, I almost said foil etched, uh, foil shifted cards. We have not gotten those yet. Summoner's Pack, that's what it was. I, I thought that's what it was. Actually, I thought it was summoning pack, but I didn't want to say that wrong. All right. Skipping through your commons on your last pack, Nick. You've got a Cryptic Analyd, a Cordurg, Urza's Factory, 
and an Eon Chronicler, followed by a Time of Need. Search a library for a legendary creature card. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. For two at sorcery speed, that's not bad. Not bad at all. And a Cloud Sprite token. Alrighty. That ends your stack. But, what a stack. Oil extra paid in here. A Chrome is Memorial. It did hit a Mythic. Good pack. Good stack. Alright. Stack 8. Charles Schofield again. Alright. First pack of your third stack, Charles. Third and last stack, look at you. Just like Jake yesterday, just ending off like basically in the middle. Alrighty, skipping through your commons. You got a Salt Crusted Step, Might of Old Crosa, a Time Bender, and a Felonite Hermit. Got a Felonite Hermit followed by a Crystal Shard. I love the blue in this picture, it looks so good. Almost matches the blue on my arm. With a spider token. Alrighty. Pack two. Moving on. Alright, come on. What in the world? Skip in your commons. Y'all see that, right? I'm 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 glad this is on camera because that's not me. It was a crook claw transmuter, which was a common. Got a harmonize, a brine elemental, a smallpox, and a damnation. There we go. Another mythic. They're starting to come out now with a repeal right behind it. Return target non land permanent with converted mana cost X to its owner's hand. Draw a card for blue and X at instant speed. I didn't do nothing, Charles. I didn't do nothing. It wasn't me. I altered the video. I altered what you guys see live somehow without powers and while I was doing other. Open another packs. <laughs> it's kind of odd. It's just like it's one of those things. It's like you know it happens, and it's you just don't know when it's gonna happen, and it's just random. Cause I was flipping through that, and I was like, wait, 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 wait. Cause what I'd seen was I'd seen the uncommon below it, but I'd also seen the border for the backwards card. I was like, There's, what? I thought that was gonna be a huge misprint. All right, let's skip through your commons. You've got a Sudden Shock, a Muck Drub, a Mycologist, and a Summoner's Pack. There we go. Number two, but first non-foil. An Alesha who smiles at death. Whenever she attacks, you can pay hybrid white, black, white, black, or if you do, Return target creature with power two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped and attacking. That's pretty cool. And it's got first strike. Alright, we got a foil looter Ilkor. And an insect token. It's an odd looking insect. Pack number four. Pack number four. Guys, I'm sitting here. I'm getting anxious for this foil shifted card. Like, I'm like, it's got to come. And we're down to, after this, the last four stacks. Got a thick skinned goblin, a skittering monstrosity, and a stone cloaker. Followed by 
a restore balance had to get we had to get one today you guys we, we've all had to come to the realization we got to get at least one restore balance right in a prime time right behind it there we go that was a good pack mythic with a prime time yo what what a foil kiki jiki wow Charles, how come you're the one that doesn't like foils, but you get some of the best foils? I think that's wild. You don't like foils, you got foil Urborg, Timmy Yogmoth, and then a foil Kiki Jiki. You guys, that is a beautiful card. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. With a Saperling token. There you go, Charles. Alright, on to your fifth pack. That was that last stack luck for you. Alright. Wow. I just guess I had to say it out loud that I was anxious to pull one. We got a Pendle Haven Elder, Celestial Crusader, Joda's Avenger, and a Sedge Sliver right behind it with a Grey Merchant of Asphodel. I can't believe I was wondering when we were gonna pull a foil Kiki Jiki like last week. With a metallic sliver. A Kiki Jiki, like the foil compared to the non-foil looks so much better. Like it looks really it looks a lot more clean. I don't know why, it just it just looks more clean. It's the same literally same card, just one shiny. Alright, last pack for you, Charles. Last pack of the day, boss. You've got a Brine Elemental, a Minion's Murmurs, Rebuff the Wicked, and a Joyra of the Jitu. Joyra of the Jitu. Followed by a Sylvan Scrying. Search your library for a land card, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your library. Two at Sorcery Speed. With a Metallic Sliver right behind it. But yeah. Can we just say, wow, you guys, like, for real, like, that was an awesome spoil shifted card. That was sweet. Got prime time right behind it. A restore balance. There was a mythic. A damnation, I forgot. I completely forgot about that. A foil Kiki Jiki, though. Looks good. All right, spot number nine. Stack nine. Let's keep it going. We are on fire right now. Cade, your first stack of the day, man. Or your stack of the day. Let's get it. We got foil and non-foil Kiki Jikis today. Sweet. This has been a sweet break. Alrighty. Kate, if you want me to go through your comments, just let me know. If not, I'm just going to hit your uncommons, your rares, your shifted, and move on. I know, I know some of, a lot of us are working, so you guys just want to see what you get real quick so you have enough time to get back to work. I got you. Shiv and Sand Mage. An Enslave and a Scrib Ranger. Your first rare of the day is a Porphyry Nodes. Had to see it, you guys. It, it's basically destiny for this show, card. Card to show up with a Fibble Thip. Fibble Thip. We have a guy, one of the guys here, Ryan. He's uh, building Fibble Thip, and he's looking for a foil one of these. And got a kobold token. And I think he said, if I remember correctly, that Fibble Thip, the foil Fibble Thip, was the cheapest of the foils. What? Trey for real? Is that on TCG Player? That is insane. Alright, skip it through. I mean, 
I'm not saying like you're anywhere near wrong or anything. I'm just like, whoa, sweet. I just want, I'm just curious. I know he's gonna be a lot. Kiki Jiki by himself is already a really good card. Got a Yixlit Jailer though. A Griffin Guide, Knight of the Holy Nimbus, and a Greater Gargadon, the non-foil version. A prized Amogam, Amogam, or Amalgam. Foil Gorgon Recluse and a Sap Token. Wow, I felt like I just said, I don't like the way I just said Gorgon. It just sounded like I just slowed it out too much. Gorgon. Alrighty. Pack number three for you, Cade. Got the commons out the way. We got a cautery sliver, a pongify. Sweet, that's good to know. Thanks, Trey. Appreciate it, man. Got a rebuff the wicked. Next rare is a Sarah Avenger. Is she on the booster packs too. I think I just noticed that today. A mirror entity right behind it. A hey, Brenton, if you're still in here, man, I, I think you called it. It's about to be a fire one, and that's fire. With a night token to close out pack three. Jesus. I don't know, Charles. I'm, I just got to be like that. I, you know what? I don't like foil shifted cards. I don't want them. Let's see if I can get some. You know what? Since I said that, I'm probably not going to be able to. I want them, but I don't want them. Figure that out. <laughs> we got a Cordurg, an Imperiosaur, and a Harmonic Sliver. First rare. Or first rare. Rare of the pack is a Banalish Commander. Followed by a Lavinia Azorius Renegade. But Charles, it's still a really good pull, man. assembly worker token that's probably what it is I'm lucky for everyone else I'm not lucky for me <laughs> oh I think actually you know what you're probably just talking to Charles and for sure that's what it is he gets he gets lucky he gets really lucky he'll be like I don't like I don't he told me he doesn't play with white cards and foils and then in most of the breaks, he's pulling, like, all the white foils. And I'm like, dude. <laughs> but then I know I get them back in the store because Charles just wants the regulars. We got a Harmonize, a Shiv and Meteor, Conflagrate, and Pack 5 Rare is a Reiterate. Got a Reiterate, followed by Lingering Souls. Create two spirit tokens with flying flashback for two. Got a gobbo. Alright. Alright, come on. Last pack for Cade. Last pack. Got the commons out the way. We got to trump the domains. A Fury Sliver, a Stormcloud Gin, and a Nether Trader. Got a Nether Trader. Not a common rare to come across. With an Ajani's Pride Mate right behind him. And a Goblin Token. Stole the foil out the pack. That's just what happened. Good stack though. Pretty good stack. I'm gonna move on to stack ten. Charles 
Like I said, Charles F. Not even going to attempt it, man. Unless you can dumb it down for me. <laughs> My last name is pretty awkward. All right. Charlie or Charles. If you need me to slow down and go through your comments, just let me know, man. If not, I just skip the comments. I hit the uncommons with rares and shift your card, and then we move on to the next pack. Saves everybody time in the day. <laughs> like I said, if you can dumb it down for me, go for it. Because I think I see Ferraiolo. Ferraiolo? Yep, I'm already messing that up. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, but anyways, Charlie, if you want me to go through your uh, your comments, just let me know, man. We got a Dark Heart Sliver, Celestial Crusader, and a Bonded Fetch, followed by... Bruh. First Pack Mythic. It's something about first time luck. Something about it. Farah Yolo. Farah Yolo. Is it like Farah Yolo? Teferi Mage of Zalfir, though. There we go. Restoration Angel. A Foil Pendlehaven Elder. And that's something about that uh, first break of luck. Yo, I said it right. My last name is pronounced Lytle. L-Y-T-L-E. I mean, y'all obviously see it because I'm doing the video. <laughs> but a lot of people just say Little, and it's just like, yep, that's me. What's up? <laughs> but Lytle is the, the way to say my last name. All right. We got a Pongify. Shiv and Sand Mage. Spell Burst. This uh, art actually looks pretty cool. And a Hive Stone. Followed by a Dismember. Decent stacker, or decent pack, decent pack. Dismember can be really good, especially in Commander. Really good in Commander. And a Gabo. Alright, pack three. So far, this stack is hot. It's a good stack. Just another foil shifted card. We just want to see two. At least two. That's all we ask for, Magic. Got that logic not on the front, though. Come on. We got a Phantom Worm. A Storm Entity. A Pithesis. And a Pulmonic Sliver. Number two. Followed by a Shriek Maw. And an ape token. Come on now. There we go. Let me grab some sleeves. All right, come back. Pack number four for you, Charlie. Pack number four. All right, skipping through your comments. You've got a Gaia's Anthem, a Cautery Sliver, a Paradise Plume, and a Slaughter Pact. I don't know how many of you guys have kids. If y'all's kids love the movie Wreck It Ralph, or even the second one, Stinkweed Imp, right there. Basically, just has Death Touch. Um, but Ralph breaks the internet. Like, that's a good movie. 
It's a pretty cool movie. And one of the games in there is called Slaughter Race. The way they say it, I end up like just trying to say it. I'm like, Slaughter Race. I don't know. That's just what it reminds me of. My kids loved Wreck-It Ralph when they were younger. All right. This is pack number five, Charlie. All right. You got a Might of Old Crosa, a Rough and Tumble, Clockwork Hydra, a Fungus Sliver. I haven't seen much of this one today. Followed by a Dreadhorde Arcanist. That is a good card. Dude, Marco furrowed it. My, my kids had that stuff on repeat daily. Like if they was hanging out in there. Whoa! The, what did I say about that new person luck? Wow. First break luck right there. Master of the Pearl Trident. It's our second foil of the day. I love the, the foil blues with these shifted cards. But yeah, dude, my kids... Yeah, good pull. I'm glad we pulled a second one. It only took us a stack 10 to have our second one and stack 8 to have our first. But yeah, congrats on that. That first break luck right there, Charlie. Dude, my kids, they legit had that show or that movie on repeat. The original Wreck-It Ralph and then the second Wreck-It Ralph. Oh. Then next thing you know, like I really enjoyed it. It's a pretty cool movie. All right, last pack for you, Charlie. Last pack. All right, skipping through your comments. You've got a Sudden Shock, Tromp the Domains, a Stormcloud Gin, and a Flagstones of Trocare. Legendary Land, there you go. And a Disdainful Stroke. Oh, I love this Disdainful Stroke so much. It looks so good. With a Gabo. Gabo token. Alrighty. Yeah, that was a pretty good stack. Dreadhorde Arcanist, so good. Disdainful Stroke, Stinkweedium's good. Slaughter Pack, Dismember, Teferi up here on the top. Thanks again, Trey. <laughs> All right, stack 11. Hey, no problem, Charlie. Thanks for buying in, man. We appreciate you over here at the Iron Lion. We appreciate We appreciate everybody that supports us. Supports small businesses. Alrighty. Shane. Been a minute, man. What's going on? We're gonna, you know, you already know how, you've been in quite a few of my breaks, you already know how I do it. If you want me to slow down, just let me know. Skipping through your comments, you've got a Wipe Away, a Yavi Maya Dryad, Paradise Plume, and first rare is a Sudden Spoiling, followed by a Nature's Claim. That's a good card. I mean, granted, your opponent's gained a little bit of life, but. Instant speed, one drop, artifact or enchantment destroyer. I'm going to destroy that. You can gain four life, but I'm going to destroy that. I'm going to get rid of that. <laughs> That's a really good card. Appreciate it, Shane. Appreciate it, mate. Come on, pack two. Pack two for Shane. Skipping through the commons. We've got a Stormfront Riders, Premature Burial, a Char Rumbler, and an Angel's Grace. <laughs> also a really good card. I win. Mm, no, no, you don't. Not yet, at least. 
the procrastination card. Gotta read the bones. And a gobbo. Got a gobbo. Angel's Grace, we don't really see many of those. We usually get one like one almost every other break. Sometimes we'll have like one in a back-to-back -back break, but there's a lot of these I'm seeing that we get in every break. Urborg, Shumi, Agma, every break. Alright. Pretty sure we also see the Pact of Negation. All the packs we see in like every break. Chroma's Memorial is in almost every break. Alright. Skipping through your commons. You've got a Sudden Death. A Lost Oromancers. Primal Force Mage. And... A Heartwood Storyteller. Followed by a Bedlam Reveler. There we go. I mean, I love stuff to cost less and have extra abilities. Prowess. When you ETBs, discard your hand and draw three cards. You just make that the last card you play. Just empty your hand and then get three cards free with a sap token. However, or that doesn't make. This spell costs one less each for to cast for each instant or sorcery card in your graveyard. Not making other spells. I just misread that before. So. Alrighty, got some commons getting out of the way. On pack four. Nice. Got a wipe away. A keen sense. A salt blast and a porphyry nodes number two of the day number two of the day that was kind of odd you guys y'all seen that there's literally only one card here this is probably the third pack we've come across that didn't have a shifted card in it but you got a foil rift bolt and a goblin token but yeah Shane it that that's definitely happened it happened to Charles before? I think it was Charles that happened to. Alright. Get the commons out the way. We got a Dread Return, an Outrider Encore, a Mycologist, and a Magus of the Moon. I think about two or three of these yesterday. An Abrupt Decay. That's also a really good card. Really good pull, too. Can't be countered. Destroy target non land permanent with converted mana cost three or less. It's like a uh, Assassin's Trophy, but can't be countered. And it's only, it's got specific targets it can do. Assassin's Trophy is instant speed, same cost anything <laughs> all right last pack for you chain Shane last pack all right you got your commons out the way we got a minions murmurs a haze of rage a fury sliver and another magus of the moon okay that's why they're in a we haven't seen much today because they were same stack. Beast Within, really good card. Got I love that card. Got a Reality Acid right behind it. Foil with a Griffin token. Alrighty. That ends stack number 11 right there. And the biggest of the moons were basically in back-to-back -back packs. So really good these are all just really good cards so yeah good stack Shane appreciate you buying in man hope all is well and stays well um, all right last stack of the day you guys last stack Let's get it. Alrighty. 
skipping through your comments. Sutherland, if you're out here watching, what's up, man? What up, babe? Lost Oromancers, Cloud Cedar. Crow Sand Grip, and your first rare of your stack is a Singer Nosferatu. And a Leveler. Like I said, I'm sure somebody's got some nasty way of using this card. What up, man? What's up, dude? And a spider token right behind it. Alright. Pack number two. Oh, well. Skipping through your commons. We've got a henchfiend of Yukor, an Arc Blade, Joda's Avenger, and a Jaya Ballard Task Mage. Followed by a Sorcerer's Spyglass. I'm glad they used the art from Ixalan and not from Throne. I like their original art better. With a Cloud Sprite token right behind it. Jaya Ballard. We've, we've, I'm glad we, we've seen her now. That's good. Skipping through the commons, we got a whip spine Drake, a sudden death, a bonded fetch, and a tomb stalker, followed by a vandal blast. Pretty good removal, artifact removal right there. One drop. A foil bound in silence, followed by a land of war elves token. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Skipping through your commons, we've got a fungal reaches, a whip spine drake, a calciderm, and a hive stone number two of the day, number two of the day, followed by a treasure cruise. The ability delve is just so good. I love it. It's such a good ability. Oh! A Knight of the Reliquary foil shifted. There we go. Nice little hit right there. And an assembly worker token. That makes the stack right there, man. Still got two more packs. Pack number five. Skipping through all of your commons. Um, I think it's if you draw and you have no more cards left to draw, you win. There, yeah, something like that. Like Jace, um, what's his name? The dude from War of the Spark. He, uh, he's like the mill planeswalker. Got a premature burial. Epithesis, Scrib Ranger, and a Glittering Wish. A Blighted Woodland. I uh, forgot about this card right here, too. Lab Man, too. Yeah, Marco, for sure. Yeah, he does say that, too. We Terry literally just said Lab Man, so I don't know how I done forgot about that guy. All right, you guys, last pack of the day. Today's break has been pretty good. Pretty good. I can't say, like, how good it is because you guys can't see what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking at the top of everybody's stacks over here, and it looks really good. So good pulls today, you guys. Congrats. 
let's get through your last bit of commons. We've got a Keen Sense, a Lightning Axe, a Spell Burst, and oh, last pack of the day has got a Mythic. There we go. Ancestral Vision, a Kosali Pride Mage. Oh, it's got a little foil too for some. A Dune Rider Outlaw foil with a soldier token all right you guys i greatly appreciate all of you guys thank you for supporting the iron line and myself uh, i wish you guys the best of luck on the giveaway tomorrow to all of you um you guys just have yourself a good night take care of one another and take care of yourselves be kind Wear a mask, practice social distancing. Uh, next update from WotC is going to be April 14th, was last I seen. Uh, sweet Charles, I'll see you then. So April 14th, we'll find out if they're going to open up some in-store play, and hopefully we get out there and start slinging some spells. But until the next uh, break, you guys. Oh, Trey, I appreciate you coming in here and uh, updating us on some prices, uh, on-the-spot prices. Uh, Everyone else, or everyone in general, you guys have a good day. And we'll see you tomorrow with the giveaway and future breaks. Peace out, you guys.